Hi everyone, it's Debbie here again with another video tutorial. As many of you know, um, Silhouette has released a new studio version, the 2.7.3. The previous version was 2.7.0 and the version before that was 2.5.8. So there's a couple of new tools in here that I wanted to go over. But I also wanted to mention that I know from the Silhouette Plus forum members, um, there has been issues with doing print and cuts. Some people are having a lot of problems getting nice print and cuts to, to come out. They've written to Silhouette support. I have also written to Silhouette support even though I chose not to update the computer that I cut from because I've heard of these issues. Um, if you are having these issues, please write Silhouette support and know, let them know that this is going on so they can hurry up and try to get this all fixed for everyone to enjoy their cutting machines more with the newest version because these um, a couple of the new tools in here are great I love them and I wanted to um, show all of you though that may be wondering what they're all about how they work. <clears throat> okay first of all I'm gonna go here I'm just gonna draw a circle there we go and then I'm gonna draw a square and I'm just gonna use my regular uh, pattern fills here so I'll go over here and we'll select uh, this one here and now I'm going to go into advanced options I'm going to scale it down really small so it's something like that and now that I have these <clears throat> dimensions all in here and it's scaled down just the way I want it but I also want this to have the same dimensions without having to go back up here and fill it and figure out how I scale it down it is so easy now you see this little tool over here it's transfer properties of selected shapes we're gonna click on this and I'm just with this is already selected I just click right in here and ta-da it's all filled okay now I just noticed a little bit of a glitch because it should have filled it smaller but of course this is a bigger area so perhaps it's not okay now we're gonna go on to this other really cool feature and I love it because it makes designing so much faster and easier okay well, I'm just gonna draw this little this long oval here and I'm gonna click on this now many of you notice this little thing right here in the middle and sometimes you've accidentally grabbed it and you've gone this way and this way and this way with it and you're going what is that for it bugs me okay this is what it's for and you're gonna love it okay we're just gonna take this and I'm gonna drag it down right to here because I want these pretty close together now I'm gonna go over to the replicate window and I'm going to rotate five copies and then I'm going to rotate five more see how nice and evenly they're distributed and now I'm going to rotate one copy whoops it went way over there but that's not a problem because we still have our little center right there it's leading us to so I just grab it by the green handle I'm going to rotate it back till it lines right up here in the center and voila nice and evenly distributed so if you want to weld this we'll go ahead and do that and we'll fill it with some color so you can see it better and there we go it's almost like a flower and remember you can separate them further I'm going to delete this out and I'm going to make another one of these ovals I'm going to grab this right here, click on it, take it down further this time, about right to there. I'm going to go back up to the replicate window, Repl rotate five copies, rotate five more copies, then I'm going to rotate one copy. And we're going to grab this so this gives me a little further separation in between these I need to get that rotate just right so now I group these together 
and I'll weld them. And as you can see, I have a different pattern. Now say you don't want these all welded together and that's okay too and you want them really far apart for whatever you may be doing or you're going to weld something else in it. Remember all you do is grab this, the further out you take it, and line up there with the center and rotate the copies the further apart they will be. Isn't that a great tool? Well, I hope all of you get to enjoy this as much as I have. I know it's coming real handy. Oh, before I go, I want to do one other thing. I'm going to just undo this to get it out of the way um, because this has come up. Okay, over here where your grid is at, and I've already turned mine off. Okay, you um, when you do the show grid, of course that's how you go and of course I made my spacing one inch and divided by four so each of these are a little uh, quarter of an inch and then here when you first open this 2.7.3 okay I'm gonna show you see these little crosshairs if you have the studio designer edition these crosshairs are on and it's just a pain for some people so I'm going to turn off the grid so you can see these crosshairs better and I know that it's been bothersome to some don't worry about it. Just go in here, click on that, and now when you're doing your design work, those crosshairs won't get on the way. You can also turn off your rulers in here, turn them back on. I like having my rulers on, so I always leave them on. I don't always like my grid. Here is where you can also do your snap to grids, show guides, and these are your guides. This is another new feature here. Sometimes we want to keep things all lined up. Well, isn't it great to have a guide? So we could drag another one from over here. So you have guides from both sides. So I want to stay right in this little area here. This is so helpful. Okay, I'm so glad I didn't forget to tell you all about that in case you didn't know it or if you wanted to um, or you did know it and you didn't know how to get rid of those crosshairs. So now I'm done. Have a great day. Happy crafting everyone. Bye now.